Come on, man. Can you see your face? Oh, no. All right, let's see the other side. I know, I know. I'm not going to mess with you. I'm just filming. Oh. It's okay. You're still handsome. Um, my dog, uh, he's a, about a year old golden retriever. Um, he's got a couple of issues that popped up yesterday. Um, uh, I think he's got a hot spot on, uh, both sides of his head. Okay. So here's what happened. Wrangler woke up one morning and he just had this crusty mess on the side of his face. He smelled, he'd had a bath the day before and we were like, okay, what is this about? So we washed them off, disinfected, and like we were like, okay, obviously this is something we need to monitor, but we had no idea what it was. So we got them cleaned up and it just, it came right back. And so we we're like, okay, this is clearly an issue. Oh my goodness. I mean, you got irritation all up in there. I mean, it's not just, it's not just that. It goes all the way back in the neck. In the ear. Sweet boy, what is going on? Okay, so he ended up having two hot spots on either side of his face, one side way worse than the other. And then he had like this rash. Actually, it was down the right right side. This red rash like all down his neck. And we weren't really sure what it was. And when we talked to the vet, like why is he getting hot spots? Like what, what happened? They honestly didn't have an answer for us. They're just like, yeah, we don't know what causes them. Like sometimes it's environmental, sometimes it's diet. Like there's no way to know. So keep him in a cone for five days. Here's some meds, here's some cream. He should be fine. Well, that's not exactly how the story went. Wrangler ended up being in a cone for almost two months. So he ended up having, you know, these, these really big spots that the cream was helping if he didn't scratch them. But he also had this rash that we noticed like the spots were getting better, but the rash wasn't. And so after a couple days, we were, we started investigating and we found poison ivy near an area where we knew he had been. So we put some Benadryl cream on him and sure enough, it, it went away within like a day or two. Did poison ivy cause our dog's hot spots? We're not really sure. Every time we took the cone off, cause the, you know, the vet was like, after a few days, like you can take it off and you know, just monitor him. Every time we took it off, this dog was scratch. Even when he had the cone on, he was always trying to find something to scratch his head on. We got to the point where we basically had to have the cone on him anytime we weren't watching him. So like at night or when he, when we left to go somewhere, like he had to have the cone on. And it took probably close to two months for his face to fully heal. And even still, he's got some thick patches of skin. Hi, you wanna play? I know, in a minute. He, uh, he has these thick patches of skin where the hair still hasn't fully grown back. And you know, this is, what? I have company. Hi baby, can we show them? Look, so we got a little, a little patch over here that doesn't doesn't want to fully grow in yet. That skin's still really thick. So we're hoping mm -hmm. with time that will get better, but we'll see. Anyway, um, hot spots. Yeah, it's not a seven to 10 days like Google says. It's more of a one to two month if it's an area that they can actively reach. And if it gets as bad as ours apparently did. The vet said, you know, if we hadn't brought him in when we did, the spot would have gone from like yay big to like yay big within like 24 hours. But anyway, Wrangler is doing great. Um, he is slowly getting all of his fur back. We've hopefully found the answer. Don't let him in poison ivy. Who knew dogs are allergic to poison ivy, or at least some of them are, and we're pretty sure our dog is. Hi, handsome.